Hello guys, so today I have a little bit of a different video. This video is just going to be me testing something new out. A couple weeks ago, my great-grandfather died. Yeah, that's a very morbid way to start off the video, but it's necessary for you guys to understand where I got my new toy from. But anyway, he had this uh, VHS camcorder thing from like the mid 80s. It was chilling in his closet and I laid claim to it quite a while ago. I also laid claim to all of the old family tapes for me to back up. So as a result, I got this. I don't know the specifics about this thing. All I know is that it can record on the VHS tapes and it's a very old piece of equipment. So you can see uh, my great grandfather labeled the top as top. It's like Christmas morning, you know, opening this thing up. You open it like this. Got two like switches and then huzzah. Boom, it smells very old too. This is the VHS camcorder. So anyway, you use this thing uh, to charge batteries on this side, but then if you plug it in into the back of the camcorder, it uh, will power on that way. Look at how beautiful this is. All the buttons on this thing. You guys understand like how, how cool it feels to like handle this thing after being like a VHS nerd for so many years. It kind of works somewhat so the way that i'm going to do this is i'm going to use the power plug it directly into the wall or into a power strip that i have and then what you got to do is you got to line up the arrows there are arrows right here and there's arrows on here you basically lock those things together like so and voila we now have power to the vhs cam recorder now you guys hear that so basically this is where you load in the tape itself that you want to record on. Basically, the first time I tried to load a tape into this thing, I tried loading it in this way. And, uh, you know, just shoving the tape down in here. Uh, yeah, spoiler alert, that's not how you do that. I am a moron. Don't listen to anything that I say. Yeah, that first part, insert this side into recorder. Obviously, I know that to play VHS tapes. And guess what? The same thing happens with a VHS camcorder. So you load the tape in like this. And suddenly it goes in a lot easier. And now the tape is loaded in and I'm actually surprised. All right, now it's, it's making all sorts of noise. Nothing showing up in the viewfinder. So that's a little bit concerning. <laughs> the stars really need to align for this thing to work properly since it's this old. Through the viewfinder, it's just like a black and white image of what I'm seeing since the lens cap is off. And it kind of like jitters up and down slightly, kind of like an old film reel. Whenever I used this a few nights ago, I tried using like the camera mic for this thing. It's it's awful. I don't know what's wrong with it. Cue the footage. I guess. Zoom in. Zoom out. Yeah, I, I mean, it might just be because it's old. It might be because it's all crusty and like the protective thing is wrinkled off of it. I don't know, but um, I'm going to go ahead and start recording on this thing. Hit the record button. And whenever you start recording, it does jitter up and down quite a bit, more so than it does whenever it's idle. So you basically hold it like this, like so, with the pack battery thing laying on your shoulder. And now I'm looking through the viewfinder and I see my poster there. And hey, look, there's you guys. That is the camera setup. Let me zoom in. As you can see, I just got my phone. I got that adapter thingy because you know what? Apple is weird and it doesn't allow me to, you know, do the thing where I plug it like headphone jack thing you guys know what i mean sorry my brain is kind of like fried from um trying to get this thing to work properly for like 30 minutes and now the thing's going out of focus and i can't tell i don't know whatever and then i got that wire leading down just like a 12 foot wire let me zoom out a little bit here and wow the viewfinder just turned off oh shit is it still recording i don't even know the viewfinder's gone did it stop recording? I'm handheld now. I, I don't have the mic connected. I have the camera off the tripod. I'm just doing it handheld now. Just like the good old days. Just kind of show you guys what um, this whole thing 
is all about. It kind of gives you a close-up, uh, personal look at it. I have the thing turned on, but basically it can only work if it is turned on and the viewfinder is on at the same time. And getting to do that is like a one in like 100,000 million chance. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to turn this thing off. Um, see, I, I turned it off and hey, now the viewfinder's working. Nice, look at that. See, the thing is turned off. The light isn't on, but the viewfinder, up oh, there. There, there it goes. Well, it's turning on again. See, I really don't want this video to fail. Hey, and the viewfinder is on again too. Hold up. Let me get this tape loaded in real quick. We, we might still have a chance, boys. We might still have a chance. Come on, get in there. All right, the tape is loaded in there. The thing is on. The viewfinder is going. Is it gonna focus? Oh boy. Uh, oh wait, the lens cap is on. That's probably why. Hey, there it is. Wait, wait, hit, hit, hit the record button. Hit the record button. I guess I can film myself like this, like like doing it like that. Hey, look, there's there's cameraception right there. This is my hand holding that thing, and uh, yeah, this isn't how I wanted to record it. But whatever, we have it working right now. There is my setup down there. You guys can see that is the AV to HDMI adapter. I have it running from the back of the VCR in there, the composite cable. HDMI cable going out. This is to record the old family tapes, by the way. Jesus, I've recorded this like five different times. Uh, it's getting all jittery again. Shit. HDMI cable going out into... God, the bed is in the way. The old capture card that doesn't really work properly anymore, so I needed to buy a new one. And then we got HDMI cables going into that and one going back into the TV. The uh, capture card records onto a USB device. And that is how I get that. Basically, I need to order a new capture card because um, it records for like 20 minutes and then the audio gets all out of whack. So yeah, that, that happened. God, my arm is getting tired. I'm just gonna focus on filming with this. While I have it working, see, it's cool to get two angles going at the same time. Whenever this thing actually decides to work, as you can see, there are all the DVDs, the BHP DVDs up there. You got James Boy Ranter, you got the vlog series, the whole vlog series, the final vlog shot, the original blue hat. I ought to just do a whole room tour with this thing. I am glad that this thing has decided to work now. So that's something to, there, there's something good right there. There's my calendar. There's a Totoro drawing thing that I got from SetsuCon this past year. And it is going out of focus and I think that we have officially lost. Yep, there goes the viewfinder. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording real quick. Hang on. This has easily been the most stressful video that I've had that I've attempted to record in a very long time. All right, so I will never be using this VCR VHS camcorder thing ever again. I'm turning it off. I'm, I'm unplugged, I'm disconnecting the battery. That's gonna be it for me. It's trying to run again still. Okay, update video coming out May 12th. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It'll be the first and only video that I film with this thing because this thing is very unreliable. That's what happens when you try to use technology that is uh, more than twice your age. Okay, uh, see you guys later and uh, subscribe. Stay tuned for the update video because it's an important one. Okay, bye. Thank you.